Hello and welcome back to ESL AUNZ Championships where we are about to go into a scorcher of a matchup between SYF and Rewound. Rewound coming in as the highest seed as they were knocked out in Stage 1. And Kev, do you reckon we're going to see a bit more action than we saw in the first match of the night? I think we'll see more action. Whether it's going to be better action or not, it's going to be a different story in this case. I mean, in, in terms of the talk between what's happening both sides, obviously SYF losing their biggest firepower in terms of Zeph being able to play his natural role again. I mean, there's still a lot of firepower in that role, don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, I've known him for ages in terms of anything. Talking about shredding, um, that's a man who's gotten really shredded. <laughs> Well, you know, like legitimately, if anyone wants to go, it's like, you know, that internet meme was like, doctors hate this guy for one weird trick that he did. <laughs> um, you Look, I'll be serious. Like, you look at his pre to post transformation photos. I didn't, I saw him in Melbourne afterwards, right? And I was, yeah. I know this has gone on a complete tangent. I saw him afterwards in Melbourne. I didn't believe it was him. When was that? Was that last MEO? That was last, last year. I think uh, beginning of last year. I just looked okay. at him and I'm just like, no, nah, you're not. Huge transformation. So maybe he's able to make big impact on the server alongside with the rest of SIF. I mean, Willie K is being brought in in terms of that roster for reround. I think it's um, I believe it is Matt CD actually playing today. So that's a bit of a blast from the past in terms of anything. Uh, very explosive player. Um, yep. but when he's playing terribly, he knows he's playing terribly, and he is the first to comment on it as well. He's also, you know, crazy, like just generally crazy in real life as well. I would say energetic as opposed to energetic. crazy. Yeah. To me, look, it's pretty much the same thing, but we are going to have a look at the vetoes really quickly to see what maps we will be seeing tonight. So, no Vertigo, no Overpass. So, Sad Mac, or no matter what the picks are here anyway. Um, <sighs> Mirage and Dust 2. So, a couple of Pug maps there, which could oh. favor both the teams going into the matchup. And uh, I don't know which D way Dust 2 is really good because you've got two Orpers that you can really kind of utilize. So, you can utilize um, Matt CD as well as Andy in terms of orping wise so that's always good um, this is probably going to end on Inferno again I don't think either side wants an end on Overpass oh sorry Overpass and no Knocked Out already sorry no new can probably no train because it's just two one sided you're happy to keep it open which yeah. means this is probably the most boring three maps that we're going to see tonight mm -hmm. and again we'll have a, have a look uh, and Inferno so Mirage does two Inferno so the three biggest pug maps in the pool um, and see I have this theory that because SYF, they don't have Zeph, but now they have Willy KS instead. Uh, Willy apparently has a much more micromanagement sort of role with his IGLing. And I don't think that the players on SYF are going to play with that sort of IGLing too it, well. I guess it depends, right? It's like he, he I think Willie is also smart enough to realize when it's time to micromanage and when it's time to not. I, and I think yep. in this case is that he's probably come in um, a lot of, I, see, I still think a lot of people inside the Oz community have respect for his IGLing ability. He's obviously copped a lot of flack for the now the infamous, you know, chess comment. Yep. But he's very correct in that essence, right? Is that he likes thinking about the game and he's going to have to try to figure out the best way of using uh, the Badonka Dizzle himself in terms of everything. I can't believe I said that on broadcast. Um, Badonka Dizzle. Yeah, no one wants to get Badonka Dizzled. I'll put it that way. Uh, no, no one likes to see it, and you hate to see it, but it happens. And it's. For him, I think what he can bring a lot of strength is allowing the rest of SYF to do their things, but in the mid-game, kind of co like coral them together and go, okay, this is the overall goal. I don't care about how you get it done. You need to get it done, however. I think that's where a lot of the freedom the players do come from because I know Inno operates with that flexibility and looseness. So does Badonka Dizzle mm -hmm. and some of the other players as well. Looseness is better sometimes, but maybe you lose direction that because everyone's doing their own little thing. You just need a nudge and that's going to be really going, all right, we're going A now, guys. Everyone go towards A as long as you know that this is the objective and this is what we're doing, that's fine. Yeah, and hopefully but, that, that happens. You know, I'm excited. Yeah. I just want to see people get doinked. It's yeah. my favorite thing. I got doinked in CGA and uh, never want to get doinked again, but I'd like to see it at this level of gameplay. Uh, I mean, it's always good. It's always exciting to watch someone really sharp come in with a good fo like pop flashbang coming forward. I mean, I think this is the first game I've also seen, talking about rebound for a little bit, first game I've seen SK in a while. So, I mean, everyone in this broadcast probably knows this. Is like, once again, I have a lot of soft spots in terms of this very old Avant lineup in terms of yep. Dezebel and now obviously Noisier as well as SK. Um, good to see him back. Let's see how his break has treated him. Probably not well. Um, <laughs> I think I tilted him out in an FPLC game, to be honest. Uh, placed against him. I think I did some of the dumbest things against him and he was probably thinking to himself, what is going on? This is when I probably had to ban myself for a couple of days. Ah, oh, understandable. Yeah. Understandable. Yeah. No worries, I was just texting panic. Um, telling him all the crimes that you've committed, but 
Looks like, Kev, we are on Mirage again for potentially another slog fest. Uh, at least this is better than the the Greyhound versus uh, Tainted Minds matchup that I had in a single in a single tournament. Three best of threes between both of the teams, and the same maps were played again and again. All right, here we go. Pistol round coming out, and it looks like SYF uh, just going to be coming up short. It's very okay. reminiscent to what we saw in the previous round, and Andy just straight through the smoke picks off one, and this is going to be SK looking to anchor the B side, whiffing every single shot towards the near end, though the rest of the CTs have rotated across, and they're able to get the crossfire down, and it's A-Res just tap, tap, tapping away. Badonka by himself, no one going to get donked just yet. Also, A-Res is in instead of James as well, because yeah. we saw James playing last time I casted Rewinds too. I talked to James a little bit in terms of everything. He he doesn't want to come back to playing. I think he played out of necessity as opposed to anything. Yep. Obviously, he's still coach for the team, but he says that he wasn't actively looking to play in terms of anything, so that's probably why they did pick up A-Rez. Um, very, very good at the pistol rounds. Let's see how he goes for the rest of the buy rounds. Remember, it's Ayers. Ayers? We, we heard this conversation. It was, it was asked at the uh, MC Land in Brizzy, I think someone said. So how do you say your name? And you hit him with the it's Ez, but I'll just cop it, however. We are going to see a uh, eco round coming up from SYF, <laughs> and they're going to be mopped up effectively indeed by the man in question, Ez, with the 4K. And that's going to be two on the board already for re-round with two very fast rounds as SYF have been mopped up twice now. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. If he goes Ez, I'm like, yeah, okay, there's got to be something of that... that I think he was initially from... No, that's someone else I'm thinking of. I'm like thinking... Wasn't he initially from South Australia? But it must be someone else I'm thinking of, so... I have no idea who you're thinking of. So oh, I thought a was initially from here. South Australia. But here we are. Here's a buy round. And once again, mid-control coming out. Matt CD still got the scout out. Already Andy's pushed through unders and he's gotten a kill on Luke. And Luke is going to be sad. Sadder than Kevin. It does seem like an effective thing to be when you uh, died is sad. Although I don't think you can have too much emotion when the double-A uh, boys at mid, unlike the batteries, are lasting a lot longer. So Willie KS here made his way to jungle. We'll be able to at least draw some blood onto Rewound, who have this bomb at mid now. Badonka and Willie, can they work this one together? No. Alec Noisia has found him trying to make his way into CT. Shuts him down, and now it's all up to Doinky Boy. Badonka Dizzle into Bedazzle, his opponents here. Why is Giorgio just known as George? Giorgio. George. 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 Andy. They went for the double stack. I can't too. believe that Toy Story 4 actually came out because now I have to come up with a new joke. There's not going to be a Toy Story 5. I know that. There was still hope sure? at the time. Are you sure? Well, it depends if they need to make more money. Yeah, understandable. That, yeah. I think that makes sense. Yeah. Business, right? That's it. Reround. That was a really quick CT round. I'm not going to lie. It just felt like the rifles. I mean, Andy and A-Res have just been slaying people. That really feels like it. And now SYF looking to go for a pretty fast A execute. Once again, Andy's going to be in the position, ready to just be in close range. But the Tech 9s could do some wrecking. But Andy here at Sandwich is not going to be checked at all, although Herbs shut down. Almost gets to the 3k there for Andy. Doinky boy, straight around triple. Two taps, Matt CD. Now it's going to be back to the 3v3. AK retrieved for Inno as well. No armor though, so it could be very dangerous. But Donka just wanting to get aggressive towards CD. Jumps up as soon as that nade is thrown and Noisy going to get a TK as well. So, back to the 2v2. Yeah, look, nothing of value was lost today. Only George going down there, and that's a good flashbang coming out. Ares was also spotted out the final player. Didn't really need George there. And that's going to be the fourth round, though. So I do manage to get the bomb plant and maybe sniff out a bit of weakness in that B uh, in that A site. However, that's also Andy without the AWP yet. Well, they got one now. They've got one. They're giving it to Matt and CD, who's having a bit of a quiet start so far. We'll see how he goes in terms of everything. Well, to be fair, though, Andy's fragging on that rifle. Oh, he is. I mean, A-Rez and Andy have 18 kills between them in four <laughs> rounds, so I'll leave it like that, okay? So they're just running around just going, oh, oh, look, there's a frag here, there's a frag there. Frag me, frag everywhere. It's pretty nuts. Yeah. That's a nuts amount of frags. Old reround had a frag reel. E-I-E-I-O. Mm. Anyway, here we go. But Donka, very aggressive at A-Main, looking for some early control. Curious George stuck on the balcony for the moment, but he's just going to hold his nerve. Molly will force him off, but he finds the timing to get back to safety. Orp in hand still. Double orp set up for the CTs. 
And Badonka was able to pick up Andy, so numbers advantage for the first time in a long time. Can they make their way out, though? Badonka's still one shot from death. Ares will chuck himself that nade over towards top mid. A little bit askew, but you know. Tickled by the shrapnel. Coming out to A for free now as the rotate comes back from Matt CD to CT. Looking like a rerun. Just going to try and play for the retake. Potentially keep this mid control, but there's the pick onto Badonka. Hasn't quite spotted the bomb, just hiding its sandwich. That's why you have to look at it. get this jungle control first, and it's going to work wonders. Luke, 2k for him. I think it was Ayrez just not reacting at all. Yeah, this should be over and done with Luke. Really, really solid round coming out from him, just locking down all the positions needed. And they know where Matt CD is, so they're just going to try and pincer off and make sure he can't save the AWP. Is he able to hit? Is he able to hit any flicks? Is a real question right now. There's the first one onto Herbs. He's looking to try to get the follow-up wall bang. He's going to come back to try to find Luke. Misses the shot though. Still time. Still time. No, unfortunately not. And no really KS snuffs it out. It was rough. first round. It was an interesting round, that one. It was like back and forth. Looked like it could have been a rewound re round. But it wasn't in the end. Yeah, thanks to Luke, who was able to get those entries into jungle. Without those entries, without getting that kill in terms of window as well as um, ladder room, that round would have been a lot harder for SIF to pick up. So, as it is, though, it's just going to be pistols out. Only noisier with an M4. Looks like he wasn't on the same page. And two people in unders already. Willy KS is watching for this push, though. And Matt CD already picked off by, you know, with the AWP. And double push coming out from unders. Willy KS is going to lock it away with a Molotov. Nice placement on the Molly there. Unfortunately, uh, there's no CTs to be found under the balcony there. Boosted up at unders, it seemed, but didn't reap any rewards either. SYF going to gather out towards the A site now get the bomb plant for three. It's Luke, though, on the lurk, finding Alec potentially save that M4 as well. Andy with the CZ denying the bomb plant. No cover from his teammates, so... Yeah, Andy just peering over the smoke. Oh, okay, there's going to be a bit of damage done at the moment from the pistols. Talking about damage at the stage, there's a flashbang as well to bail him out of it. Luke's on the flank, though, and this is absolutely critical. I think he's been heard out now. He's been spotted out. He's going to try and wallbang through. They're going to try and pincer off. The Donker needs to land a few kills here. And there it is. It's a one-on-one -on -one right now. Andy's or oh, A-Rez oh. in a very poor position, and Badonka's going to finish him off. That's a very costly round coming out from SYF in terms of they've lost a lot of AK-47s and re-round just invested barely in pistols. Able to get the buy up again. Lots of odd back and forth going on there. That's why F managing to at least scrounge a second together. There was a cannon in Mirage. Yeah, no, I thought I said the same thing when I first saw that smooth. Yeah. Didn't notice. It's up on the roof, right? Imagine if they removed it. Do you think you'd give me more frames? Maybe. Yeah. Think about it. Think Valve. about it. Think about it. Are those buses the ones that they take you around the island or something like that? And you can rot nah, it's okay. What? There were buses just then near the APC as well. I'm just wondering, is that like... That's how they spawn in. Is that the bus with knowledge or is that the bus where you kind of go in with the eye of the storm or something? I don't know. The magic school one. The magic, okay. The knowledge one. Yeah. Knowledge. Knowledge. And that's why I have the, have the knowledge to go mid. But there is a little gap on the smoke. <laughs> Matt CD trying to wind it. Not spot the T's at the bottom of mid here. Now they've got to figure out how to get out of mid because they've got no presence anywhere else on the map. At least getting the pick onto short. Willie Chaos goes down as well, knowing that there should be a second man in this area. Herbs now looking to potentially find the angle, but it's Andy on the AWP. Too sharp today. He's taking that one over from Matt CD. Luke, look at the timing here. Might be able to make his way straight into jungle. Alec on top of Bal, going to be taken down. Nice little swift one tap. And he's in a terrible position at the moment. I don't know how he's going to get away with it. He's legged one, and now out comes the Palace player. So there you go. Luke, once again, able to make the difference in terms of lurking out from connector and reround. Just leaving this connector area alone for so long and not being wary of the danger, I guess. Placement of the Molly. Potentially have been abused if Giorgio went a little bit faster. 
does not make his move. Matt CD as well coming in on the flank through Palace. So, good position to retake from. SK just going to hold control of CT. SYF have absolutely no idea. Eyes on Con. Full control of jungle as well, but the bomb's not going to be planted for that position. It's all up to Badonka that he has to hold. The rat will be eventually coming in, but it's going to be Matt CD doing the damage. Can they get on the bomb in time? They've got 10 seconds they need to hold it for. Luke, he will save the round again. 3k for him. One big one tap on it to Alec earlier. And the 2k spray down to put a third on the board for SYF. Rewound have been looking so good, but SYF are answering. Yeah, and once again, it's just down to really good connector and mid-control that's coming out from them and just allowing... Uh, once again, this is what I mean. You sometimes don't want to micromanage and always play safe. Sometimes you need to take a risk. I felt like in both rounds, Luke definitely took a risk in terms of peeking into jungle. If you lose that position, that's it. You're dead and gone for. Takes the risks on both of the times, and now it's going to be a mid-contest. A single flashbang over connector with the pistol swinging out. The flashbang doesn't come out, but the pistol's not able to work out because it's Luke getting the triple spray down with the assistance of Willy. And it's all down to noise here at the moment. Willie coming out of his skin, but AK retrieved for a second to buy it noisy up, but only good for one. So 4v4 now. The game is tied up. Rewound able to buy up again, though, as we head into the ninth. So we'll see if they can put a fifth on the board or if SYF can edge out and take that lead for the first time this game. Byron's come out again, but I mean, so far not much orp coming, uh, not much impact coming out from the orp so far. And you know, looking to get the cross one more time, gets the tag. Sharpie playing that spawn. Oh. They're about to go for the bust off of it as well. Three CTs here to answer, but the utility at B is enough to draw the rotation. Ares. Finding the frag, but Willie, there's the entry back to the 4v4. Andy peeking solo, one for one again as Badonka. Ready and waiting. AK in hand. Has been spotted going over the firebox. Maybe not. Utility's been thrown from that direction. Herbs, though, goes down. And the bomb now still needs to be planted. They need the control. Smoke at least retrieved. This could be the saving grace for SYF. You know, needs to cover. But Padonka going to fight instead. Running wide and catching Joshua off guard. You know, spotting him through the edge of the smoke as well. Padonka stuck. Ne oh, he's about to go through. What's happening? Come on, give him the doink. Oh, <laughs> give him the doink. The doink is coming, Kev. The it's doink gone. is coming. The doink has been done. <laughs> 4K for Padonka from a position like that is ridiculousness. I'm like, rerun would be like... How is he over there? Surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> what was that? The Donker Dizzle. Dizzled. Doinked. 1v, what was it, 3 in the end? No, 1v2 in the end. But to be fair, it's his, his well, placement of the crosshair as well is just actually really crisp as well. You can't even say that it's just random. And now he's, he's just got doinked. He's got reverse doinked. Got killed by the CZ. Unfortunate. Now, rewound of nothing to be worried about here in the 10th round because the Doinky boy has been dusted. Still got to worry about Luke in his natural habitat, jungle. Yeah. Scary man. He's, he's gone straight up into window again. Doesn't matter if he's he, made noise. So. He thinks he's in window. He's just on the ledge. Hopefully someone's told him. Oh, he's up there finally. He's made it. Climbing the ranks. Only... Close short to give you know a tiny bit of space to at least to post on the line. Jiggle comes out. Ares almost gifted the kill as Herb stayed on the angle as well. Heading back to A. Like I said, they're able to get the entry on towards jungle once again. Luke has done so much good work in terms of just exploiting this jungle position, and, and it just seems like free round has just not caught on. And SYF just just gonna keep doing it. Rewound were playing better when they uh, were getting very aggressive towards that mid area. Yeah, they were playing better when they were running around when SYF had no guns, and then SYF had guns, and that was it. SYF just adapting and uh, shredding through the defences. Maybe it was a call from Willy. The man I said couldn't micromanage, but it looks like micromanagement isn't even necessary here. It's just a lot of uh, solo plays working out. No, that's what I mean. It's like well. his overall goal is like, okay, I, I want to get, I want Luke to go into jungle. This is how we're going to do it. That That's what you can just call sometimes. And yeah. you've got so much players that can have the skill to back it up in terms of this. Why not trust it? Now a fast A-side execute. Just going straight out through the Molotov. 
through the fire, and now Noisier, his position's compromised, but he's still standing and fighting and able to do a bit more damage, and Matt CD just bobbing in and out, doing some more work. Herbs in the lurk, able to at least put down that short player, but he's just by himself now. There's no one else left, except for his lonesome... Ooh. Made his way across, but straight in it to Noisier's crosshair. Triple and that is going to be rewound, denying that streak of rounds, which FY, SYF rather managed to find. It's rough. Yeah, triple orb. Wait. Wait. Triple orb. All right. Yep. Okay. No worries. Three orpers in the team. Two right. Three big green sticks. Heavy... Economic investment. Um, standing in a Molotov, two orps almost killed already. Well, Ares at least found a pick, even though he went down to 16. But and Matt CD, out solo at mid, in the middle of the open, uh, could not hold his ground. Back to the 4v4. Let's see if Ares can get any extra damage done there. He's one shot away from death himself. That Molly could force him to stay aggressive. Be Giorgio fighting at mid, herbs. One for one. Connect as well. Bomb has been spotted at mid, I believe, too. So they know that it's going to be coming that direction. But it's Luke and Willie now. Luke, once again, going to go towards this jungle area. Oh, and the timing's going to favour him as well. All the way up on stairs. The CT's doubling up here. Are uh, they going to be ready for the uh, have they? Have they not learnt at this stage, OK, it's mid-round. Where do you think Luke is, guys? <laughs> mm, oh, where has he been in the rounds we've lost, guys? Mm, maybe oh. he's been in this jungle position. And no one is watching it again. Ah, finally oh. someone's caught on. Ah, Noisier goes, hmm, maybe Luke's actually inside the jungle area. And now the double orb should be able to shut down Willy KS. But it's calculated. Placement of the flash will allow him to make his way that little bit closer to sight. It's as well, just jiggling, trying to draw some attention. Knows that he's at bench, but will he? Oh, his barrel not quite spotted. It's the man at bench, not expecting a second man close. Noisy up, nice and close, is able to get that trade. So we are brought back to a neck and neck six to six scoreline. You could imagine imagine if Luke wasn't patient in that stage. He yeah. just killed Andy and just locked down Market from there. That was pretty much that round over and done with. And I, I mean, I feel like Reround just got very lucky in terms of that noisy cover, the correct angle. But man, you gotta uh, you got to be shutting down this connector slash jungle take some time. SYFR on a force buy, though. First time in a long time since I haven't seen a buy around out of them. It's been a relatively close half, and I feel like it's been a very quick half so far as well. Yeah, there's a lot of very short rounds. Lots of rushing coming out from both sides. See if Herbs is able to make his way up con. Oh, nice shot coming in from Luke. Big frag nice and early. Yes, though. Oh, gets back to short just in time. Maybe able to keep eyes on con. Alex is well worried about this position. But his is... Luke just taking a little bit too long to peek. Gets some damage off. And there's the headshot. Inno as well. Gets the two-tap onto Noisier. And just like that, it's a 3v2. That CD down to half HP. Unable to deny the plant. Looking for it, though. Destroys Badonka over towards a main. So we're back to the 2v2. But Giorgio is coming in. Lower mid. Inno had no idea. So Willy, big effort needed from this man. To clutch out the round. Looks like... He's going to wrap the whole way to CT. This is a big risk indeed, but no one's tapped the bomb yet, so there's no reason for Willie to rush. Uh, but Matt CD's got the kit, and I think Matt CD reads what's going on. They're still mulling off and covering different positions. They're scared of this A main right now, but Willie's on the wrong, so like, wrong side at this stage, and Matt oh. CD eventually is going to realise what's going on here. So you can only clear so many different angles before you realise what's going on, and unfortunately the long con's not going to work out there. Almost did. Almost did. Very close. But that's the final angle that you check because the re because you go, hang on a moment, you're not going to plant not for yourself in terms of that position. So eventually you're going to be checking there because it's taken too long. Something's in the back of your mind going, something's not right here. And that's why you're going to be checking that CT spawn. So rebound do manage to pick up a round, but like I said, SYF, there was only a buy round for them and they were able to do a lot of damage off the back of that. And straight out into mid. Here we go. Willy KS, choo-choo train, just straight down in. Um, <laughs> How is he here already? And he's opened up short. 
There's one man on B. Bomb's still in spawn, though. Nade coming in to at least get the trade. Back to the 3v4 CTs. Looking like they've got the advantage, at least positionally and numbers-wise, but not for long. Trades from Matt CD as well on the AWP as the two remaining men all the way up con already. Matt CD flashes himself in aggressively. Oh. Gets the aggressive play to work. So Luke now into the 1v2. Worried that someone else is towards the A site, but the two remaining CTs making their way down short B. And I'm just so confused. Luke now needs to go on an adventure to get the bomb. We won't have no idea. You can see Andy going towards top mid. Might actually hear the footsteps in a moment. No, I think he's just missed it in terms of... Because he didn't go all the way up towards the top boxes. So Luke's retrieved it. And he might actually be in a perfect position to... Okay, this has definitely been... This has not been heard. He's found one. And he's found the second as well. He's going to try and get closer. Try to close the gap. Giorgio has moved away. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, he's lost him. He's lost him. Oh, he's lost oh, him. Oh, no. no. He's just been compromised. <laughs> Luke, what are you doing? What has happened in this round for that to be the result? Oh. How? You know why? why? It wasn't in jungle. Couldn't break it down. Oh, there you go. Too many angles to think about. Too many angles to think about. Yep. That's it. He, he couldn't do the mathematical calculations in time. He generally has mods for that. You're a genius, Kev. Yeah. Thanks. No worries. But, and he's able to get away. Oh, Willie is just straight out. Again. And he goes. Race car, entry. He's noisy yet, dancing around the bullets. He'll catch that nade as well as bullet on the head from Herb. So back to the 3v4, SYF, strength in numbers. Pretty decent. Herb's peeking solo with the Galil. Couldn't quite see the man on short. Maybe the uh, crosshair was in the way. A little bit of smoke as well. But it's going to be Luke to mop up. So in the 1v4 now, going into the half, Matt CD has to try to clutch it. But fully blinded, just kisses the wall goodbye. And that is going to be an 8-7 to seven scoreline as SYF keep it close. Yeah, I mean, good contest overall between both sides. Very exciting Counter-Strike. Like I said, really <laughs> yeah. scrappy Counter-Strike. But, hey, sometimes that's what's exciting about it. You know, how many times can Luke end up in jungle before he can be shut down? I just, at least four. At least four. It was at least four. A few times. And then he wasn't in jungle and he couldn't clutch it. It was on a silver platter for him. Standing right there, but he lost <laughs> where Andy went. Oh, so unfortunate. But exciting. And a great time for everyone. Here we are. Second pistol for the map. Rewound. Where are they heading? Looks like it's an all-in towards the A site. You've got a Smoke and a Molly on Noisia. And they're going to be busting out nice and early. Smoke towards the top of Con, but three CTs all positioned perfectly to deal with this. Ninja not going to be checked straight away. Giorgio goes down, but Donk up. Some work there. Luke as well. Two for him. Now, Ez in a 1v5. Cannot do a thing. As SYF make the hard read, and it works wonders. They they took 10 hit points of damage onto Luke. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Good damage. Great ADR. I feel like Badonka is like Neo, effectively. He just managed to slip through everything and just dodge bullets and just pull off some sick combos and just kill people. Sick combos? Sick combos. Beautiful. Sick wheelies. Not really. <laughs> Super sick wheelies. <laughs> All right. Force by coming out from reround. Working up that multiplier now. Nade off the wall. Ooh. No vans here. It's going to be Inno to uh, whiff the spray control a little bit too far away in the Deagle. Slightly more accurate in that scenario. Let's see if Rewound are able to clutch out the round from here. Andy gets one shot off, but he's one bullet away from being dusted. Nade is <laughs> going to do it. <laughs> you can see him trying to escape. He's just like, oh, no, 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 got to back off. Didn't work. Uh, still winnable here for reround in terms of anything. They've still got armor on these players, and two of the players have been tagged up. Deep Molotov. Georgia's going to push in front of it, see if he can try to find any opportunities, but maybe Herbs will be able to shut it down as well. Oh. Whoa. Oh, it's going to be SK. Whoa. Is that 2017, Giorgio? <laughs> he's back. Or has he ever gone? Boys, he's back to play. But can he hold it down the site for just a moment? The bomb still needs to make its way through apartments. No, he's gone down. Unfortunately, there's not a third one dig for the man. So it's back to the 2v2. Matt CD and Noisia have been spotted in apartments. But is Luke going to back himself? Looks like he might just go up solo. Is he going to peek or is he just going to hold underneath the balcony here? Oh, if he peeks up the right time. Oh, That's it. beautiful stuff coming out from Luke. 
And that's unfortunate for reround because, well, Georgia is going to be a little bit angry about that. I can imagine just going, I did all this hard work and you guys let me down. I just wanted it for the showreel, boys. You can't yeah. put it in if it's on a lost <laughs> Show round. Showreel, he has six kills. <laughs> he just got three kills in that round. Give him a break, all right? He's trying. I He's never trying. give. He's... I never give Giorgio a break, unfortunately. It's just full out. I know he can be better, so he knows it. Look at the timing here. Rebound. They're going to go out in front of the smoke as it blooms, but straight into Luke's crosshair, and he has been so dangerous. You don't want to be giving up free picks like that, even if it is an eco. That's no. the scary part. He's yeah. on 25 kills at the moment. It's He's been absolutely fragging it up. It's been the three of them, in all honesty. Badonka, Luke... I swear you know has gotten a few kills. No, he's actually gotten nothing at all. So it's actually just Luke and Badonka so far. And then on reround, you've only got Ayers as well as Andy. But they've definitely dropped off since the beginning. It feels like it's a four-man contest at this stage, in all honesty, in regards to the firepower and the kills that are going on. It's a shame to uh, see Pilly not in this lineup. I miss a bit of Pilly, you know. The deadly duo. Never to be. Well, I always love tilting. Mitch, when we play together, I'm like, hey, Mitch, what's the dumbest thing that you think I can do to get away with here? Okay, can you run up mid with a bison. Okay. Yes, sir, Captain. It's going to work out, though. No bisons here. Just a bedoinky boy with an MP9 looking to run at is, I guess. Just going to be a main, making sure it's nice and safe. Billy finding Andy there with the UMP as well. He's just hiding in the corner. Goes unchecked as well. So Ares has gone down as well, so that's one vector attack completely shut off. That's a good flick coming out from Matt CD. Badonka thinking about how to really get out of here at this stage. And you know how he's going to get out? He's just going to swing out and just keep fighting. He's just going to keep swinging. He's just going to... It's going to dazzle them. Badonka has no fear, and that is his best trait. Although... Ooh, that's Matt, a good pick. How has he turned around at the right time? Matt CD gifted in more ways than one. It's going to be noisier trying to hold it down at Con, unawares that Badonka has gone on his adventure already. Now that that bomb's gone to the back of apartments, it has taken a little bit longer to get to the B site, so Badonka should be able to find himself the 1v1. Matt CD, however, is going to cross his T's and dot his I's with that Molotov, at least buying the time to get the bomb. I, I, think he heard, I think he heard a footstep in terms of the proximity of it, so that's why he's decided to chop the Molotov and get back into safety. Really good short plant, still has a Molotov to play with. Badonka, two kills in this round, but absolutely no more from there. Matt CD reading him like a book, pretty much what was going on there. Badonka tries his best, makes the right play of call as soon as Herbs goes down. And that's uh, that's Herbs making a bit of a a questionable peak in terms of anything. Got very unlucky with the timing, of course. But at this stage, two on two, you kind of know they're boxed up in connector. There's a couple of different options that you can do at that stage. And unfortunately, it just fell into the one which I would say gives rebound the round. Very close. Much closer than I expected uh, this game to be. Why, if CT side, you'd expect them to have the advantage here, but rebound still finding those rounds. That's why if it would definitely aid them to take this map pick, because I don't know what they're going to be able to do on Dust 2, except for maybe a bit more doinking. Mid control taken by rewound now. Bombs what a flashbang off. Luke, he goes straight in off the back of that one. Gets out for free as well. But Willie, same can't be said. I want to say got to have for free. Had to trade out Willie. It's like, all right, you're going to have to die for my sins here. I've boshed up my spray. I've wired swung too far. <laughs> and Herb's actually pushing in front of the smoke. Has spotted out noisier at this stage and gets rewarded with a free. Gets rewarded with a free one. Backs out as well, able to drop back into safety. He's going to hear one more over here. Rebound are going to be going for that split B at this stage. Lots of utility being dropped onto Herbs' head, but he's still able to stay safe. Airs, though, pushing in, and I don't think Herbs spotted him out. We might have been seen going over to jail, though. Inno denying the cross over towards Africa. Airs going to be spotted, but he will come out on top. But Donka with the fast trade. 
Yeah, that bomb is going to be stuck on site as well. But with 10 seconds remaining, Andy, he is just going to go for the stick here. Flank coming in just in the nick of time. And it's going to be Luke to find his second for the round and 11 to put on the board for SYF. Yeah, still tight though in terms of everything. Bomb plan doesn't go down, which means it's going to be a bit rough. Maybe a couple of pistols coming out for the T side. SIF, their money's not in the best situation as well either. It's just been back and forth right now between both sides. Exciting though. Nice and tense. A lot of these rounds coming right down to the wire. Donker, long range with an MP9, looking to reposition here. But, you know, to cover with that AWP and cover he will. Spotting the second man on the way out, but it's Badonka fighting again with the MP9. But the headshot angle, two for him already. That should be the round done and dusted, but we'll see what Andy and Matt can do. It's up to Andy now with the AK in hand. Spotting the head, looking for the angle, but it's Inno to finish off. Two for him. Head in to the 22nd round. SYF looking a little more convincing with every round they take. Yeah, only losing a single man there with an MP9. But that said, though, re-round only. Hmm? Look at the kills. I know, 54 kills between two of them. And that's just ludicrous in terms of anything. And it's just a question, how can they keep, can they keep this performance up? I'll put it this way. Wheelie KS, Herbs, and Inno. You combine their kills together, they have the same amount as Badonka. <laughs> <laughs> exactly the same amount. Do the maths. On another level. It's crazy. Crazy amount of sheer raw skill with that cross here, with that mousy boy. Andy, though, will take down one of the two men we were just talking about, and that might be the round in their hand now, but Badonka still lurking with that MP9. We'll see what he can do. Might not find too much action, though, at least not early. Rewound with the mid control. About to find Willie up on the cinder blocks. They are aware of that Ooh. position, but he's gotten back to safety. Ez not taking the opportunity to get the trade. They thought that he was stuck in window. Only in the wrong position as well. Now this one's crumbling for rewound. They had an opportunity. I mean, Willie's in a really strong position in terms of ladder. You can transition back and forth. It's very difficult to kind of flush out. He's just peeked out right there. <laughs> <laughs> Drive that, by. That sums it up. That sums it up pretty much. Drive by. <laughs> and where are you going to go here? So it looks like they're going to try and contact on herbs. 28 seconds left to contact on herbs. Maybe a single flashbang to help with. You can see Matt CD very aware of this van position and Herb's just coming straight up. That's the round done and dusted. I think Andy should just save at this point in time. He's got the AWP. Um, switch out to the AK. Still giving me a crack, but time's dwindling away. Pick up the AWP again, brother. It's no time. And that seems to be the cookie crumbling. At least an AWP carried over into the next, but that's 13 for SYF who are edging towards the first map here in the best of three. Yeah, and they've got, they're starting to build up some cash on some of their players as well, which is where it always gets to the scary part. Whereas for pre-round, it's going to be another force by there. I think have lost the last, I think, four in a trot now? Yeah. If I remember correctly? I remember there's three. something on the screen that should tell me. Three. Three? Okay, three in a trot. So, look, they're starting to build up at least a bit of a loss bonus, but at this stage, building up a loss bonus is a little bit too late. You don't have the rounds to play with, so... Um, not changing up the pace again, looking to try to get this mid-control, trying to fight for this, but what do they do with the mid-control afterwards? I haven't seen them do anything with it, right? SYF, when they took this mid-control, always looking to contest short, always looking to contest lighter, always looking to contest these positions, and look at that damage coming out from that incendiary grenade. Herbs, doing work with 650 bucks. He's getting aggressive behind it as well. Can he mop up what he started, playing the off-angle? Will he be checked here? SK on the entry, no util, going to clear this angle. He doesn't even look at it. No idea that someone was up here. There's the 3K. What a hold in apartments. And that is now Noisy, a last alive who's been spotted, has managed to get some charity damage done. As Herbs does overextend, but now he's got the AWP in hand. Can he find another? Definitely. Luke as well taken out. And now we are seeing the other CTs reacting by pushing towards the top of middle, trying to lock him down in apartments, making sure he can't get out for free. This is where the dangerous part is, because if Inno, say for example, misses a shot, I don't think he will. He's just watching it like an absolute hawk noisy art. Ooh, good shoulder step just to draw it out and just buy a bit more attention. The rest of the CTs, though, just going to be playing accordingly, just tightening the net just a little bit more. This is what I mean, but Donko's playing really smart in this angle. 
This is nearly impossible to check. You're going to be hearing absolutely everything. There you are. Very smart play coming out from Badonka. Very patient as well from the rest of the SYF players. Not giving themselves an extra... Not giving Noisier any opportunities after that first shot. But that's some action for the B anchor. And Herbs is going to be happy for that. That's what you live for sometimes as a B anchor. That one highlight kill reel. That's literally all you get sometimes. Bit of action, finally. Bit of action. And for SYF... Looks like they're going to have to hold off another A-site take. Rebound have looked very flat so far on this T-side. I have to say that SYF have done very good work on the defensive points. Just look, solid work on the defense. Let's see if that's going to work for them one more time. Out comes the A-site. Execute noises beat most of the utility, though. Oh, Luke getting unfortunate. Almost worked the timing to get a pick through the smoke. In the one way, almost working out for Badonka. Aggressive up on the box now. Bomb planted. Three CTs ready to retake from the CT position. Luke, he's missed his first shot. And that'll be his downfall. Lots of util going to be thrown over here, but Badonka almost beating it straight to side already anyway. Pulls out the secondary, ready to fight. You know, and Andy as well, just having a bit of a tussle down towards the bottom of mid. Just drawing so much attention. Badonka as well, staying aggressive. Is someone still on the bomb? No, they've only tapped it. He's been taken out. It's noisier now with the CZ, but still needs to kill the defuser, and it's not going to happen. Not in time. Too much craziness going over everywhere. Looking like a pug at that point. There's just five fights just <laughs> breaking all over mid and CT and jungle over in Palace. There's just people fighting and brawling it out and just it's like an old bar scene everyone's just smashing glasses and having a great old time and the cops come and everyone goes scatter the bomb's been diffused props to mc for capturing 99 percent of it that was absolutely hectic so <laughs> that was good fun though to watch that's just one of those old-fashioned brawls which you never see happen a lot in counter-strike <laughs> these days i mean it's look it ain't pretty but it's a great lot of fun it's not the wild bar west anymore in that case, it was. So if there was an R8, maybe a little bit more. You know, misses that shot and double dink. The double dink. The illustrious M4. But double donked. Yep. It's hard, but Badonka makes it look so easy. As does Matt CD, though. Lily K has walked straight into his crosshair. Andy with the crab. Expecting Luke there. 3v4. CTs at eight. A Ooh. lot of pressure on Herbs, who's actually aggressed into kitchen, so can play retake on B if the bomb comes this direction. That's so risky from the T's pushing back in the palace once it's been cleared out, but that's gonna, they're going to be rewarded by this, I guess, at this stage. Inno has no idea they're going to be coming in from palace, so maybe you get one from connector. There you are. He's going to drop down. Okay, he's suspecting something's in palace now. He knows nothing could be potentially towards jungle just yet. Okay, they just flash out. That's really well done already. Gives a lot of information, forces it back to a two-on-two -two when they had the numbers disadvantage and really bad position in terms of, in all honesty. But also, look at Badonka. He's just taken all this time to go straight through Pal. Andy going to go down for free, and it's Matt CD up on ticket. They are waiting for this flash, Whoa. but Matt CD is going to hit it blind. And can he win it in the 1v2? Is it going to work out? Deagle in hand. Repositions. Herbs seems to be aware. No, he will hit oh, the flick. And that CD losing what looked like an unlosable position there. Herbs with 6 HP clutching it out. And SYF taking Mirage. Their map pick finally locking it down. Yeah, I mean, once again, a really pretty... Pretty close half, uh, a second half that wasn't that close, and you could kind of see the difference there. When SIF took that mid control, they knew what to do with it, and they exploited it in terms of getting people in the right position and making the correct plays. Whenever I saw reround in the few rounds, they did get that mid control on their T side, because that's really what lost them the game. It was like, okay, we've got mid control, what now? And it was just stagnant. It was like a swamp, no one was really moving. Um, yeah, it's like waiting for a Swampletics episode, except you don't have two weeks. You've only got one minute, 55 seconds. Yeah. That's all I can say, really. For, for those that don't know Swampletics, go look it up on YouTube. Very great series from a very great man. Go watch it. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're here for Counter-Strike. And... But that's just to put in comparison, right? It's like, imagine <laughs> waiting three weeks for an episode. That's a long way. And that's what, exactly what they're doing. It's like they're doing all this waiting, but they're not doing anything on top of it. And I feel like that lack of an initiative really lost in that T side. Uh, SYF didn't do anything special on that CT side. I felt like Luke threw more rounds than he actually won compared to the T round. But Donka, absolute rock alongside with Inno, who got a lot of crucial picks with Herbs. And that's what all they, that's what the rest of the players did on SYF. They just anchored their sights, sat those positions, 
and that's all they needed to do. They did their job. They come up with a victory and Mirage, and then they're going to move in, be moving on to Dust 2. That's three rounds pick. Let's see how they're going to go. And that's it. We'll see if the Luke and Badonka show is going to continue on into the next map. So don't go anywhere, and we'll find out shortly. Uh, that confirms it. Uh, you got hipsters. Multiple hipsters? Oh, you never get just one hipster. Uh, ah, place is riddled with them. Ah! <gasps> Three natural ingredients, 100% Arabica beans, and you're cold brewing it. What'd you expect? Shoot hipsters. Scram! So what do we do? You could try sprinkling some instant around the place. Dare cold brew. A fancier fix. I'm running through, running through This jungle I see faces I'm looking back at you, back at you But you won't stop chasing Don't make me look back no more No review mirrors here I'm about to fall if I run through All these barriers
Welcome back to the ESL AUNZ Championships, where we're about to head into the second map between Rewound and SYF and see if Badonka and Luke can put on another amazing performance, or if Rewound can take it back to the start of Mirage, where they were looking like a very good team instead of the second half, where they dropped the ball a little bit. I mean, bit. I wouldn't even say that it was they were looking absolutely phenomenal. It was just more of a, okay, so Andy and Ez had 18 kills in the first four rounds between both of them, so they... <laughs> That it pretty much explains it all in, in terms of that. That's 90% of the kills going over to the two people, and you can't have that in terms of Mirage and just expecting to have success. Look, it was tightly fought in the first <laughs> half, but <laughs> it worked for SYF. Yeah, it worked for <laughs> SYF, and considering, you know, they had probably about 70% of the kills between two of the members. But uh, what I wanted to point out as well is, like, on the CT side, right, it may have been Badonka as well as Luke getting, like, a lot of multi-kills, but you can see rounds where the anchors were doing their position, they were doing their job. Like, Herb's multi-spray down and holds on the B site, especially when needed. Two or three rounds he won by himself. And he, it wasn't reflected really in the scorecard in terms of how he did on the T side. On the CT side, he won them two or three rounds. You know, on that A site, run, won them at least two to three rounds in terms of just holding on. Willie KS, locking down short, won them one or two rounds. And that's what I mean. Those rounds slowly add up. And it's like they're able to do the damage to convert those the damage earlier done by Badonka as well as Luke into round victories, which is so critical. You can have two people fragging, like we saw with Ayers as well as Andy. But if the rest of the players behind them aren't converting it over to a round victory, well, did the Franks really exist? Ask Giorgio. He knows what the feeling is like. Well, he had a good little clip with the But deagle. that's what I mean. It's like, all remember is like, yeah, cool. Sick trick. Like, cool three kills on the deagle. But at the end of the day, Herbs took that round victory and it didn't matter that you got three kills. Okay, cool. Yeah. Eco damage. You didn't take the round afterwards. No IWS, right? <laughs> No, indeed. But on to Dust2. This is Reround's map pick, so I would say that SYF would opt to start on the CT side. That's something that we are seeing teams doing a little bit more these days on Dust2. Let's see how they take it in terms of everything. They've got a lot of orbs that they can use. Matt CD didn't have the sharpest performance on Mirage. Had a couple of highlights in terms of everything, but we know that he can hit higher peaks, and we'll see if he can alongside with the rest of the team at Reround. Whereas SYF, as I said, starting on the CT side, got two flashbangs in a kit, probably for the replay, uh, for the retake, or for an A long fight. They're actually all just fighting towards mid and B. Let's see if it works out. Andy, he's going to be stuck there at green box. Is he going to have any help? No, they've left him for dead airs as well at lowers. At least we'll get the dink onto Willie KS and force him back for the moment. He'll get away with his life. But now Luke, he's been tagged down as well. Luizu and Inno both going to suffer a similar fate as wow. Matt CD is going to whiff and lose to a nasty 180 from Luke. And we're back to a 2v3. Ayers as well finding Luke now. So one of the danger boys out of the server. But look where the bomb is. It's oh. behind car. That's uh, that's an interesting one. CT seem to be aware, happy just to hold their position and wait for the cross. But Willie, he's walked up completely. Badonka going to suffer another <laughs> headshot. And all of a sudden, Herbs, he's in a good position to deny the cross. But he seems to be on to the fact that the bomb is still yet to make his way to sight. SK will get up there successfully, almost dying. Showing a little bit too much head there, jumping across. And oh, oh the line up! Works out, Herbs just tap, tap, tapping away, and it's going to be an SYF round off the back of nothing. That's what I mean. That's all you really need. Sometimes you can talk about Ayers getting three kills and making it happen for rebound, and then you know, Herbs <laughs> comes out of short and goes, Hey guys, how's it going? Lines them up, knocks them down. That's a strike in the alley. Take the frame. You've won the round. Well, so. Great start for SYF. <laughs> it's just been so many ridiculous rounds in this it, game. That's so what I mean. Far. It's like if you're looking at this series in terms of strategy, it's not yep. been that great strategy, right? I probably rate it maybe a four or a five out of ten for strategy wise. But for in just in terms of action and things that have been going on, this series has been Probably 8.5 out of 10. Absolutely top notch in terms of brawling and fighting. Okay, so Force Buy coming out from re round. Two AKs out in the hands of Giorgio as well as Ez. And Luke is just pushing in like an absolute champ. He's got the. He spotted the bomb. He's like, hey guys, the bomb's outside bedroom. He's got that champion mindset, doesn't he? Hey, Ez just died. Didn't even see Badonka. It's unfortunate. Got donked. Badonka dizzled. Yet again, starting Oh, no, early. the FAMAS gives things away. That's oh, okay. That's Inno's right. here, drive by. Mm. And just going to fight for it, and that is the round. That's upgrades as well across the board. The SMGs were switched over to AK-47s. I think I saw a teabag there too, so... 
Why yeah. not? Bit of BM coming in from SYF. Thanks for the upgrade. For the upgrade? Yeah, I'll be like, why well, you call that a force bike? You didn't even get a single kill. Yeah, they did get pincered in there. I would have hit them short. with the easy in chat. <laughs> We're trying to get rid of toxicity. I was saying easy. Not, how, that was an easy round for SYF. You didn't lose a single member. They force board. You won with SMGs and everything. You didn't lose anyone. That's pretty easy if you ask me. Correct is, me is if it, I'm wrong. Is it toxic if it's stating the obvious? I know, exactly. That's my, that's my point. Okay, this might be not so easy right now for as there's two picks going right back in the favor of reround after there's a little bit of too much aggression happening on the side of SYF. They're going to have to scramble to cover up the holes that have been lost. You got Badonka facing long with an AK. And Andy with that Krieg in hand now. So, might work out, although we are going to see Badonka pushing for the long control and giving up A-site. You know, still control of mid and herb solo at B. So rewound at least will be able to get the bomb down. That's been thrown, but Matt CD almost managing to get the two-tap, but in already for the aggression out mid. He's heard the bomb drop, though. That's the and issue. And they've left it, too. They've left it. Okay. Hello? S someone go back and get it. Weird comms, bad comms. Not too sure what's going on right now. The A site's been cleared out. Flash in towards mid. You know, not going to go up straight away. Oh, and the timing not going to favour Ayers at all. I mean, he is going to make it to side. I thought there might have been a push coming in through the smoke. If it was a little bit faster, it could have been better. But Donker as well spotted out at long. As Andy has the cover here. Krieg in hand. It's going to be a 2v0 as Ayers as well. He's going to tap away, find a headshot. And SYF truly dropping the ball in that situation. Way too over-aggressive early on. Like, Willie Chaos is already in towards, like, stairs at a stage of lower dark and, and and making noise while doing so. And it's like, hang on a moment. Like, yeah, you got mid-control, but you can't be sprinting in terms of that. In terms of, you, if you imagine he was just shift-walking, could have easily gotten two kills. Look, it's still going to be a force buy up. Two scouts, an AWP, and two M4s. Quick boost up so Inno can get some control. Um, lower dark is spotting him out, though, Whoa. and Ayers decides to hang out for a little bit too long. Nice flick from Inno. Bit of a mistake, though, I would say, coming out from SYF. Uh, uh, sorry, from Reround. Oh, but again, the aggression into tunnels. Almost punished straight away. Willie dinked through the wall, so very lucky to be alive. They've got long control, though, and uh, SYF are happy to concede that in terms of everything. You've got Luke looking just to, you know, jump around, be an absolute nuisance. Ooh. And he's better than that, though. He, he he swats away nuisances. It was dangerous, that scout headshot. Would have come back and bit them at any given moment. You know, though, posted with the AWP. Is there a flash coming in here? Not just yet, but... Oh, oh, that's a missed opportunity. Needs to land those. He follows up at the very least onto Giorgio. Matt CD trying to cross, but Badonka, Badonka! <laughs> no fear! The man wide swinging again. The 2K. And shutting down the round for SYF. Rewound. It's all up to Noisier to get anything done. He does have the scoped rifle in hand. And almost managed to get the spray transfer. But it's Badonka you're running into. And this man has been on fire tonight. You don't get the spray transfer against Badonka. I'll put it that way. He gets the spray transfer on you. I just can't believe how crazy this man has gotten. Over time. Experience, right? Mm, experience. Playing more. You get better over time. Some people also quite well in, in terms of instinctively knowing where to position themselves. And well, that's one pick going in the favor of SYF as they hightail it back towards mid instead. Willie KS. Going to be beaten out through the smoke, but able to still get away and try to transfer over. His inner is just all over the map at this stage. Finally, Willie KS goes down. Oh, oh. you know... Just on one right now. Seems to be everywhere. Catching rewound. Again in the open. And Noisier, he's going to be spotted going in through the doors there. Molly, looking at Xbox, but oh, maybe the CTs didn't quite spot him there. You know, still aware that he has to be close in this position. And you've got Luke as well. Lurked all the way through bedroom already. May just find the info, but it's Inno to get another opportunity. Pulls the USP out and will finish off Alec there. That is four already on the board for SYF. And if they can keep this up, we might be going home earlier than expected. Yeah, I mean, this has so far been 
I mean, to be fair, though, Reround haven't had many buy rounds so far. They've had one, which was kind of shut down by Badonka. Um, they do have another one here, but no AWP really to play with, and still a limited lack of utility. So that's allowing Inno to control this mid corridor and this mid tempo as well. This is so weird. Normally, you don't see teams do a 2 1 2 split. And because there is no AWP and because SYF are confident, they're allowed to do this. Yeah. Like, when was the last time you saw a 2 1 2 split on Dust 2? Not often. And there's a reason why for it. <laughs> it doesn't work really it well. It doesn't days. work very well because the T's have so much ability to exploit against different things. Oh, Willie oh, almost gifted that one, but it's Andy to spray straight back through the smoke. Uh oh. Here's an opportunity. But... Uh oh, SpaghettiO, they have unders control. Oh, they had absolutely no idea that the push came out towards the top of tunnels there. You know, with full control there, but are they going to expect the. Double stack. Andy out in the open, finished off with the fadeaway. And this is the problem, is that you had one person towards mid, and he's looking to try to get something done. But after that, it's it's just, once again, the confidence in terms of Badonka's holding long by himself. So all Luke needs to focus on is short. Yep. And then you've got Herbs posted onto mid, and you've got, you know, who's ready to swivel on a dime according to what's needed. Really strong setup from the CT side, but it's just down to basics. Everyone is is happy to fight a 1v2. And there it is. Noisy goes down, but it's not going to shift anyone. Why would you shift? Hasn't sold anything. Oh, and Luke just has to hide here. They have no idea he's at ramp, but he's going to face because he knows that he can at this point of the game as well. So much confidence. And these spray transfers, no, it's not even a transfer if they're just lined up, but he's hit so many of these in this series so far already, just jumping up super aggressive and just continuing to spray away. The, the basics are there for SYF. I don't think there's any there's been anything that's been strategically sound in terms of the CT side. Like I said, a 2-1-2 two -two split, come on, like what is this? 2007, 2006 or something like that when it was still viable to play this? It's <laughs> Now they're fighting three people out long and this is where the danger begins because, well, where's the rest of the flashbangs? Look at the utility, look at the counter flashbangs coming forward from SYF. They've done their work in terms of how to hold long and it's just been completely shut down in terms of everything. And now Badonka. Just mopping up. That's a first pick draft, if you ask me, in terms of <laughs> throwing nades at people in bedroom. Matt CD, he knows what's happened. He tried to throw the util for his teammates, but he's already given up, just waiting for more aggression to come out from the CTs. But they've got all the control in this round. They've got that bomb. They don't need to do a thing. They can let that economy build by not losing any more weapons. And look, Matt CD will probably want to die here at this point. You've got the max round loss bonus, and all you have is $500 you've bought up. So... Uh, look how much discipline SYF are using. Look how much utility they're still belting into bedroom just to make sure there's no way that he can take the round. Look, Herbs might be caught off timing here, in all honesty, if Matt CD does and check loads, which he doesn't. I was about to say, if uh, Matt CD crept up catwalk and Herbs is checking the wrong angle at the wrong time, that could have been an M4 upgrade. But as it is, SYF only loses a single rifle for a bedroom brawl, which is completely fine. Lots of good utility use and rebound. They can finally buy up the uh, three orps once again. Very okay. standard buy, as you see on your T side of Dust 2. Uh, absolutely normal. Is it going to go, though? Two watching mid. Oh, no, one was watching mid, actually. That CD. Doors as well, maybe expecting aggression on short, which has come out. And Noisier, he's gone down. Untraded. No one near him. Ready get that refrag. Short boost coming out effective once again. And Willie Chaos is going to hear this. And Giorgio trying to come up on top of the deal. Takes a lot of damage, but does manage at least to equalize before Badonk just once again. This is why his first draft at the moment at nade throwing, because he's just getting the trades just precisely on. That CD not hitting the flicks that he used to. A bit slow there. Spot that one. Oh, the Ooh. timing. Matt CD getting away with it. To be murder. fair, that's fine, actually, because Inno's got on a lot of information at the moment for them to work with. He's gone, okay, they've actually gone towards short. They've gone towards these positions instead, and Badonka might be crossing. He spotted out the gun barrel. He's managed to swindle his way into it, but I don't know if he was spotted doing so. At the, I don't think so, because where A-Rez is posted... They still think I know, he's in okay. pit. Oh, no, no, no. They think he's in pit. Okay, that's good. Oh, 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 oh. 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 get it. 
Get it, son. <laughs> Triple Orp trying to enter. This is going to be interesting. And I don't know if this is going to work out in terms of them running straight at him. He has to watch two different angles, and it doesn't come up too well for him. Luke's trying to get the spray down. He's at least got one. Matt CD, very, very low. Not enough time. And Luke? 20 seconds. Nice and disciplined, hiding behind default there. And Matt CD, he's going to exit, but there is a little lurker straight out behind bedroom. Calls being made. You can see the aggression coming in from the CTs now. Herbs, one bullet is all it takes, especially on the noggin there. And that's going to be seven on the board for SYF. And a very interesting result. You say D, I say fence. D. Fence. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Kev did That's a, definitely Kev did not what we round up doing at the moment. They're just like, oh, go B, guys. Just rush B. Oh, there's a Molotov. No one's firefighter. Okay, take lower dark. It, I was switching up the pace here, so maybe they'll be able to exploit this weakness in mid, but Inno's already here, so even though the smoke does bloom, maybe he's going to take a... Sh oh, he's taking a lot of damage. Good sh good tracing coming out from Andy. And now a big weakness coming forward, but the orb's been lost, and Willy KS is still locking down the mid position. Still locking down and still trying to fight it out, oh. and he's fighting it out. He's being rewarded at this stage. A-Rez, nice scout shots. Unfortunately, just not enough to convert it over for a round for re-round. It's still going to be a victory for SYF. Willie KS just holding down the fort at B. Massive damage being done. Aggressive peaks, lots of confidence shining through. And you can see that everything is going in favour of SYF at the moment. Starting on the CT side, they are controlling the pace. Rewound. Oh, finally going to get another early entry, but can they turn it into a round? They've got these three orps again, as well as a scout on SK. The noisy, the only man... An assault rifle. Scout going to get some damage done, but might have been better off having an SMG of sorts heading up short. And Padonka again, the bowling, the man. He's a cricketer. <laughs> oh, but they're coming up through long. This is the first time in a very long time that rebound actually look like they're in the position. How, how, how is Padonka at 27 <laughs> HP still getting two kills? I don't He's know. out in the middle of the open, guys. Trade him out. <laughs> how is he allowed to? The man is a god right now. Absolute champion. Util being dumped over towards the A site has forced Andy to reposition at least. But we'll see if SYF are able to convert this one. Noisier doing a good job to get aggressive and get control of CT. Now Andy just playing the off angle as well. Noisier going to be isolated. Herbs can get the one-on-one -on -one here. He's been spotted but finished off eventually. 1v1. 15 seconds remain to get to sight. Going for the jump shot. Knows that Andy's close to sight somewhere. And oh, there's the angle. The goodness. 1v2 from Herbs. What a clutch. And that is 9 on the board for SYF. Rewound looking everything but confident. Yeah, look. Just stick a fork, crank it. They're done. Calling it now at this stage. SYF just playing with style and flair. Yep. Rebound, anything but. I mean, even, like to that extent, right? You've got all this long control. Duke or Badonka just wide swings out. He's dead at that stage. 27 HP. He knows he needs to go down fighting. There's no point for him. He's trying to delay as long as possible. He equalizes the situation to a two-on-two -on, -two on 27 HP in the middle of absolutely nowhere. It's interesting because there's a lot of teams that just opt for the uh, double flashes and a smoke and a molly and never buy that HE. But you can see how crucial a HE can be to so many rounds, especially on maps like Dust2 when there are those short little routes you need to make your way through. And then you've got someone like Badonka that's buying up a HE every single round and <laughs> finishing off <laughs> the T's in most of them as well. Yeah, and I mean, this is just getting from bad to worse at the moment. The picks are still going over in the favor of the CT side. Three on five. Now that Willy Chaos is going to be boosted up towards mid just to watch over the catwalk smoke. Alec, not going to check it either. So that's another free kill. Almost whiffed, but brought back. That's a 2v5 and should be double digits for SYF unless something crazy happens between A-Rez and Matt CD. But uh, Matt CD looking a little lost. Has found a head though. Yeah, that's another well. kill. Oh, all of a sudden. Hopes and dreams. Going to be potential reality. Yeah, especially with the missed shot coming out from Inno. That's rare. Now the pressure is going to be on to Luke, who's now also made his way to the back of platform. Matt CD looking to utilize that progression. Donko and Matt CD. Crawls through the edge of the smoke. Now Luke just needs to stay alive. And oh, oh. boy, he just holds the angle. 
with iron nerves and he gets rewarded for it. He's hitting those shots. And this is what I mean. All of SYS are fragging at the moment. I can't say the same for Reround. No. No one's really fragging. Maybe he is. He's doing all right, but you can't be doing all right when you just got a single round. <laughs> like After yeah. 11. And this is the, the problem on Mirage being exemplified in terms of Dust 2. There's been nothing in, in terms of splitting up or taking the mid to B straight. They're just going straight in and trying to find something. It might be splitting over into mid, but Luke is hearing every single moment of this. And that Molotov is going to do a lot of damage. Luke happy to get aggressive on that flank nice and quick as well. Mops up the mid B split. And now, look, you've got Matt CD out long A with plenty of time to get back into the round. But Noisier, he's going to make some noise at tunnels, potentially just draw this attention. And if he times it correctly, he might be able to get the whole way over to A. Nope. But now Matt CD, he's been spotted. He's been taken down. Luke thought, hmm, something's a little odd here. Made the right decision, but there is the spray down. Noisy with 6 HP goes for another re-peak. This time, Luke isn't going to connect. And Noisy might be able to fight for this one. Badonka working that timing perfectly towards top mid as Herbs. He's making a lot of noise coming up the ramp. Whoa, that's oh, a that's a costly miss shot. And oh. If you got that, that map was completely open. He knew where the last one was. Could have played around T-Spawn for a little bit longer. Listened to what Badonka would have done. But as it is, once again, another round where it's just been shot down effectively by SYF and Rebound. Just left scratching their heads in terms of what to do. It's just been fast and not working. And I've got a feeling it's going to be more of the same old in, in terms of this. Nothing's really working for them at this point. The thing that Rewant has been doing is a lot of damage to SYF's economy. You can see if they do lose a single round, it could be a couple of extra rounds found by Rewant if SYF dropped the ball on their pistols. But at this point, there's only three rounds left in the half, and it's just too little too late. So, see what they can get done, you know. Very sharp here. You've got Badonka still hiding the car, unchecked, unmolotoved. Good for one, facing. Happy just to take the fights now. He's so confident, and Andy's going to whiff away. SK, good for one there with the scout. Make it a double, actually. Found someone previously. And this is their best bet. Herbs, once again, though, he won this uh, won from this position before. And you are going to see a smoke coming out from SK to deep CT. That's been thrown. Herbs should be able to work the timing, and no one's going to be covering this flank because they still need to clear out the A site. Now look, they've cleared out all of CT, so they've gone, hang on a moment, not CT. They need to clear out Elevator, and Herbs is going to drop a flashback at mid, thinking that, make, trying to make them think that he's come through short. Noisier, though, not having any of it. So there you are. Second round finally picked up for re-round. And as you said, SYF's money is not too crash hot in terms of everything. There has been damage done and guns been thrown back and forth. But they're still going to force up into this, and maybe they're going to play this one a little bit more cautiously in terms of anything. Is a potential for Rewound to get four rounds on the board now, though? 100%. That could be their saving grace. Going to see the short boost coming out once again. So Andy should be able to hear this mid-aggression coming out from Inno. And Inno is just continuously charging up. He's hearing this long. And yep. look where Andy is at this stage already. They don't even know that he's made his way up mid. And he's got all this B-site control. Seems to be aware of it though. You know, he's going to go down. Willie, good for one. And S. <laughs> oh, pulls the tech nine out just in time. And he will be able to get the trade. So rebound 2v4. Luke's still alive. Anything could happen. But Donker as well has that rifle in hand. And he's still dominating that control of mid and has spotted. Oh, oh almost works that timing too. It goes Andy. B site now not open for the taking. And the bomb's there solo. Luke, though, can't really land these shots. So even as two people are crossing over, the bomb's just running all the way back again. So, yeah. Interesting round so far, in all honesty, coming out as Giorgio decides to donate an AK-47. Very kind of him. Luke doesn't decide to pick it up, though. I think it fell back onto site, so he couldn't get it for free. Didn't want to jump. What a flash. Long. What a <laughs> flashbang. <laughs> And off the back of that, they are aware of Badonka's position. Oh Badonka doesn't God. miss he those, does Kevin. does it again. Oh, again, the man on fire, retrieving the orb for the final round and rewound, losing a 2v4. What more do you want out of this man? Not only does he rotate and lock down these critical positions, then he wins the crucial deals and he throws a bloody flashbanger for Luke and just goes, oh, here you are, mate. You can just peek <laughs> straight through that. Perfectly timed. Look, there's nothing that they can do. They have to turn away. 
and he just cleans it up on 19 HP. He doesn't even move. Just, doesn't I'm even. on the off angle. I'm going to win this fight. Let's go. Three people already dead somehow at the start of the round. Five seconds in. Vitalka's <laughs> just got an all eight kill. <laughs> like, <laughs> Happening. Oh my goodness. That just sums oh up the game. Oh my goodness. Another nade kill. Hey cheese are uh, the name of the game the here half. on Dust 2 today. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm done. Good night. Hello, Dunn. I'm Kevin. How's uh, how's it going? I'm roasted. I'm completely roasted. 13 2. Great half from SIF. Some sick play coming out of it. I don't know how to explain it. I, this is really terrible play coming out from Reround and their T side, but it's also really good defensive play coming out from SYF. It, it legitimately is. You can see the nade timings in terms of where they're catching people at. It's very well timed. It's thought out. Their defensive holds, look, overconfidence towards the end, but if you can peek mid, play 2-1-2 two two and still win because your name's Bodonko or your name's Inno, you can just peek into anything, why not? If it's working, why fix it? You want to know what? I'm an SYF fan now. <laughs> Just taking off my um my reround jersey and just chucking on an SYF jersey. I'll bring my my SYF jersey out from like I don't know 2015 or something like that and chuck it on. I'm an SYF fan again. I'm a Badonka fan. Here we are. They're going to try and attack short now, though they are losing people left, right, and center. So finally, maybe reround will get a little bit of luck here. But Luke as well as Inno are still alive, and I don't think the bomb plant's going to go down here. You know, too many people for him in the fight. Finally, reround a little bit of luck going their favor. Can they keep it going? Because the SYF only need those three rounds here on the T side to lock out the game. And my God, I just I just don't know what reround can do, other than have rock hard confidence and just hope for the best single round at a time that's all you got to work with so make sure you keep as many guns up don't throw away these rounds in terms of loose play you just got to be playing tight like every single round is the last one that you're going to be playing need to hit those georgie boy anyway looking like we are going to see the bomb just running solo down the mid <laughs> and willie <laughs> almost <laughs> up short <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Drew attention and Luke, he's gone and got the kill with the deagle. <laughs> Just a mockery oh, being made of airs. Can we get that on replay again, production? <laughs> I need to see that because that's absolutely hilarious. Look, Matt CD, he's taken a huge chunk in the, in the head, but they haven't pushed beyond that threshold because there's just too many people. Luke... That's a one dig and a half, and now it looks like Georgia has switched over towards the org and Herbs trying to find the angle. The org spray finally working out for Giorgio. Four to thirteen, bit of a costly round considering the only deagles in play from SIF from two of the members. The rest of them are the Glocks. Now out come the AK forty sevens. Here we go. The action <laughs> replay. <laughs> the bomb creeping up shot. <laughs> <laughs> you just see this mag, and you're trying to hit him. I don't know what's funny, actually, today. The Mag 7 or this. I think this one's taken the comedy gold for me. I don't even know. This has just been the most entertaining match I've watched in a long time. It's just so many ridiculous things happening. Oh, and Luke, he's copped a lot of damage early on here in the 18th. You know, sharp, but not enough to hit the head of Mr. SK there. Here is. What? Timed. what? That's time. That's actually B-side completely open as well. The smoke's, though, going really, really terrible in terms of CT. And Andy, going to try to look to elevate up in terms of anything. And Badonka, he's going to cross and he's going to cop it. As those smokes have gone a little bit awry. Why is Luke still in T-spawn? Active lurking. That's, active lurking. That's not active lurking. That's <laughs> just baiting the rest of your team, just looking for stats. He dies for it. <laughs> Matt CD holding he's that had spray. Yeah, exactly. Matt CD's had enough. He's like, what are you doing over there, mate? And that's a good flashbang. And SIF looking to see if they can throw it. But luckily <laughs> for them, they can't throw it because both of them are peaking at the right time. You can see Matt CD knew that they would be swinging down B ramp as well. Yeah. <laughs> he had the crosshair in the right spot. Oh, but SYF, there's the round. Two away from the W here in the upper bracket of stage two of the ESL UNZ Championships. And well... They have, I don't know if they've impressed me or if they've impressed me because. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good shot coming out from Ayers and that's actually a lot of damage being done on both sides. But Donka is thinking about when to smoke himself off. It really feels like SYF have just said, you have to play our game now. And Rewound have just been baited in completely. That's sick from Matt CD, but unfortunately, Herbs is not shifted in terms of anything, and the bomb's still going to go over towards the B bomb side, unless Giorgio can get this kill. Unfortunate. 
B site still open Ooh. unless Andy can get there quickly. I think they heard him coming through lowers as well. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't see him through the Molotov model. Well, they are aware that he was in tunnels. You can see the focus drawn there by Luke. And well, is he good for one? But the trade is there from Willie. There is an opportunity here for Andy. Seems to be aware that Irv's is still coming from that A site. And there's the scout shot. Willie one shot away from death. And he is going to be able to reload the organ time plane aggressively at window jumps out and he is going to take a, <laughs> a page out of Badonka's book peaking pretty much dry there and that is going to be 15 on the board for SYF and he caught off guard as he made his way up B ramp and a uh, very very sad rewound sitting there in CT spawn yeah I mean what a series that we've had so far it hasn't even felt like there's been a complete series in terms of all honesty everyone's just facing mid and you know gets the one tag um yeah but donk is just straight out there I love this from Badonk. <sighs> Yeah. Donker. He's just straight in there. <laughs> How'd he go straight out mid? There was three CTs there a second ago. Uh, that's true, Joe. Right, I'm uh, going to uh, get ready for this. There's no way coming back from that. Oh, my goodness. We'll see what happens. I'm not even watching the rest of the round. <laughs> it's just crazy. Oh, oh, maybe there's a bit of a chance here. No, maybe. okay. Matt CD. He's stuck in CT. They're just running at him at the stage. <laughs> oh, I'm oh. confused. Oh, man. What really? is respect? Oh, he has no idea that the man's at double doors. You know, you're going to clutch this one. Oh, imagine if Matt CD hits this. No, okay. Nah. Oh, that's Unfortunate. Okay. There we are. What was that? Four rounds for the rewound? Oh, okay. So 16 to four. Dust two. Let's just forget that ever happened. That was entertaining, but we'll leave that night's entertainment right there. I was a little bit disappointed, honestly, in, in terms of that series. I was expecting entertainment factor, but that was just a different level of entertainment factor. I'm, like, so <laughs> happy and then so disappointed at the same time. I don't know how that... That works, but they're just I'm just all, all everything. <laughs> I can't put it into words. It was uh, just too much craziness. And just Mizu face. That's literally the easiest description. Now, I, uh, there's not much to analyze, and I'm not going to even bother in all honesty in terms of analyzing <laughs> that. I'm not going to do my job today because you how guys you, are already you entertained. To, how are you meant to do your job when literally all it is is just <laughs> reround had no idea how to play their T side. And all SIF needed to do was just get a couple of rounds. That was literally it. Yeah. Good summary. Yeah, quality. Don't need to sum <laughs> anything else up. They just got outclassed, are skilled. And I think the most terrible part of it all is because you know what caliber players are on reround. And the fact that there was nothing that was there in the tank, it was just like... Yeah, like I said, if if they come in, you know, with not too much expectations, that's good. If they came with the expectations, I would be disappointed in myself, in all honesty. Like, that's the realistic viewpoint of it. Um, that yep. might be really harsh, might be really critical. It depends on what view, like, what mindset they came into at the end of the day and what they take out of it. So, whereas the SIF, really good couple of games. They're going to be happy with that as a move further in the upper bracket. Yeah, some really good shooting coming up from SIF. But we are going to have a look at the bracket where it currently stands after today's best of threes. And that is going to be MLW heading off the plate against SYF, which should be a banger of a match. Yeah, I mean, we're both really good upper bracket matches, whereas for the lower bracket, I mean, MC Esports, I'll, I'll focus on the upper one. Bizarre Gaming, obviously, haven't seen much of them yet, as FIF did have to forfeit, as far as I understand. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting to see how Avant kind of cruise through. I would expect them to really not be tested in much. They've just come back from the minor, obviously, versus much stronger opponents. A lot of talent on their lineup, guided by experience. And then for MLW versus SYF, that's going to be an exciting matchup. But if MLW play like anything they did against MC... They are probably going to have less of a chance than SYF. Yes, because SYF so far today, all we've seen so far is that, yeah, sure, they were playing against a rerun who, which were struggling, but their players weren't struggling at all on SYF. They were hitting their form in both maps, which is more impressive to me than what MLW did in terms of on Mirage because they completely fell off. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see who picks Mirage in terms of this um, because both teams like playing it, as we clearly see from tonight. I hope we do get a specialty map thrown in there, like a nuke or a train. I know MLW can play nuke. I don't know if they... Permavito train or Vertigo at this stage? Can't remember what they banned today earlier on. I think they banned Nuke, maybe. They're a team which I, I hope oh, at no. least one specialty map is played because if I swear, if I'm seeing a Mirage starts to an Inferno again, I'm going to not be very happy. 
Just... And you can see why. It's like, look at Dust 2. It's like, what strategies did we see? Absolutely none at all. We saw Padonka <laughs> being very good. We saw Inno just dry peeking everything and killing everything. The they end. just hit all their shots, and that was their strategy. Just hit your shots, though. That used to be MLW's strategy. Just hit all their shots. That's the, that's the old Grinny Bankers strat. Yeah. That's a name that most people haven't heard of in a long time. Yeah. As, as the old uh, Grinny Bankers captain used to tell me, if you didn't hit your shots, it means that you were bad. <laughs> just hit your shots next time. Stronger language used, but we're keeping it. You were keeping it family friendly, so keeping it family friendly is what we're all about here. And you know what time it is again, Kev? Is it? It is. It is. Yeah, excellent. It is. Yeah, yeah. It is time for the Dare MVP of the day, and today that is going to be Chelios. He had a scorcher of a first series between them and MC. And Kev, oh, tell us what he did. Yeah, I mean, overall for Chelios, I would just say just the consistency over the series. We are saying a lot of the time you had players which were... It had exciting maps, like Mizu, for example, had an exciting Mirage. But Chelios was able to put that performance to, uh, like on Overpass. On Inferno was able to do well and then was able to chain it together in terms of... Oh, sorry, Inferno was the final map, sorry. Overpass, Mirage, he did okay. Inferno absolutely blasting in terms of took that map away and they won. And driving it by as well. The man just on the orb, so sharp. And that is the reason he's your Dare MVP of the day. And it brings us towards the end of the day as well, which is very sad because it's been very entertaining. Yeah, and, uh, entertaining in two different ways, I guess. One was entertaining yeah. in the sense that it was a close fought series and we didn't yeah. really know who was going to come out in Victor. And the other one, yeah, entertaining because it was just kind of just watching a team just absolutely slam dunk on a team. You sometimes hate to be that team, but you love to see it. So, And that's really what it was. I mean, it was really just watching a higher grade team just completely stomp a lower grade team. They just got outclassed. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I'm, near, I'm a little lost. I'm a little exhausted. I need to do this. <laughs> Dare fix will fix it. I don't know. Yeah, that'll fix it. That'll fix you up right up. All right. Where are we up to now, Mac? I don't know. It's the end of the day. I thought I that think. would have fixed it. Oh, yeah. No. I know where we are. Hey, it's the end of the day. You know what that means? It's time to go home and uh, get some sleep. Something Kev's been very excited <laughs> for. Um, unfortunately, he's more excited to do that than watch any more Counter Strike. I could stay here for hours, honestly. I could. Especially but, with this. Like, yeah. 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 You barely touched yours. You're like halfway there. Yeah. Disappointing. Anyway, enough. <laughs> that's enough from me and Kevin, and everyone here at ESL Australia. I hope you've all enjoyed yourselves today and all the exciting action that has occurred and come back same time tomorrow for a little bit more. Murray, have you decided on a name? We're thinking Callum. <laughs> this is Callum Murray. <laughs> Callum Murray to the seafood aisle. Callum Murray, why'd they name you that? <laughs> I take you. Callum Murray. <laughs> Let's make a jack. <laughs> <laughs>
Drink it through with Dare Ice Coffee.